Hey Collective, it's your girl Stacy from the Divine Goddess Tarot. Mm hmm. We got ready for our energy read? I'm ready. I feel like it. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? How's your How's your day coming along? Good morning. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go with my energy. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't hear that a little bit. Let's call it back here. Give me some space. Space, days. Child, don't say nothing to me about these things. I got the color off. <laughs> I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward with the nails. Move forward. I got the color off. I'm gonna clip the nails, and I'm taking off that, uh, uh, you know, that stuff they use. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Do we want to go with this spirit? Remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Ah, where I want to go, spirit? I don't know, but... We'll go with these. We'll go with these for now. Let's get the energy. Push this back a little bit. Okay. Big cards take up a lot of space. Spirit, what's the message for the collective? It's Thursday, October 26th. Now, in the spirit of fall, I love the fall. I do. I like to watch the transformation, you know what I'm saying? Of the plants and the trees and the weather. Ooh, woman holding the coin. Queen of Pentacles energy. 42 could be significant. 24 could be significant. There's somebody that's stable, grounded, focused on building their empire, their business, their home, whatever it is. This is somebody that is a domesticated kind of person. Um, they like the beauty, the finer things, and that, that doesn't necessarily mean the most expensive things, but, you know, this person is very down-to-earth, okay? It doesn't take, you know, a lot of things. This is somebody that can make anything look good, look expensive. Their home looks well-manicured, you know what I'm saying? That kind of energy. Mm -hmm. This person takes care of them, their health, their, their looks, they value, you know? And they're not, they're not boastful with it, okay? Rest and rejuvenation on the bottom. What's we got? Okay. We got financial constraints. Somebody could be having financial issues at this time. Could feel like they have to penny pinch down to the last little bit. This could be you. The number 13 could be significant. 31 could be significant. Spirit. And let me say that this woman is also very unconventional. She's not like the conventional type of woman that you see. She's not. This is somebody that will take care of their self. You know, very uh, self-sufficient. You know. With or without anyone in their life. You know what I meant? Like as a partner. Rest of rejuvenation. Here it comes again. Number 19 could be significant. 91. This is about um, re, uh, da, 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 regrouping, um, taking time out, like slowing down to take a look at, like, if you have a financial constraints, this is like creating a budget, you know. Um, looking at where you're spending excessively or, you know, where you need to save. And things to that effect. Maybe you need to slow down on your spending. Okay. And it definitely it's about reflection. Okay. Yeah. Daughter value. Yes. Okay. Spirit. Ooh. Then we got the storm warning. Tower. 
And, that, and a towel doesn't mean something has to be bad. A towel could mean like the breakdown of the way things are at the moment. A change. Drastic change. Yes. The contract. This is justice. Door to value. So however your situation may be right now, that's about to change. Yes. 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 You're going to be able to, to, to rest and, and rejuvenate because you, you put in the work. Okay, with the woman holding the coin, you're the you're the type of person that will invest in the outcome. You know what I mean? You 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 tend to your grass, okay? Spirit, what's this message? Yes. Do it a value and it's and your and the universe is gonna show their appreciation for your appreciation. You heard? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? Listen, the sun. Come on now. Yes. Wish fulfillment, overflow, abundance, um, enlightenment, happiness, joy, peace, emotional fulfillment, fifth fifth chakra, throat chakra. Hmm. Expressing this. Ooh, somebody may be trying to express some kind of envy towards you. Maybe somebody's envious of, of what you say, how you speak. Something to do with your throat chakra. How you communicate. Somebody could be envious of that. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Ooh, look, on the bottom of the deck, that's the underlying energy. Somebody's, listen, and there it is again. If, your throat chakra. Somebody's envious of, of your, the way you communicate. Ooh, the way you think. How you think. How you do things. Your, um, mm, the temple path. This could be a spiritual path. Somebody could be envious of your spiritual path. How you communicate. Yes, how you express yourself. Ooh, look at there. Look at there. Deceit. Come on, spirit. Mmm. They see that you're on that you're on a temple path, a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. They see that. They see you with your head down, your focus. You know, you study. You're in alignment with this path, and you're on the path to this to the sun. Yep, that was that was that's your destined path, and you're walking it. You're studying it. You're following it. You know what I'm saying? You're being obedient, and somebody's trying to plan something deceitful. You know. Yeah, because they see you walking away. Wow. Going towards wish fulfillment. Happiness. <clears throat> the sacral chakra. Sacral, yeah. No, that root chakra. That's the root chakra. This is family. This is um, legacy. This is the environment that you grew up in. This is your learned behaviors. This is... This is yeah, yeah, the environment that you grew up in. So this gets family, friends, you know what I'm saying, school, classmates, you know, first grade friends, you know, whatever it is. You know, that's part of your, how you show up in the world. Okay, take that how it resonates. How you grew up, what it was like in your household, you know, the family things, you know, that you guys did. And how y'all kept secrets and, you know, how y'all... Interacted with each other That kind of energy Yes But you're going to have victory over this Yes You're going to have victory over Whatever this deceit is Whatever this You know Envy This person has against you You know And this person has more than you You're You're, you're putting in the work You're planting seeds You're You're grooming your 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 land You know what I'm saying You're watering in your grass You know you, You're dealing with whatever you got You may not have a lot But you're planting seeds And those seeds grow You know what I'm saying As long as you're tending to it You know it's, It depends on what kind of seeds you're planting It's going to be what kind of fruit you're going to bear Correct This is somebody that's put it in This is somebody that's got their head down That's studying That's trying to stay on their path That knows That speaks how they feel Alright, however you communicate, somebody is envious of that. And you ain't got nothing, and they got, they got things. This person has a, a tray of pearls and something else. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody that sees what you have, the little you have, better than, than the lot that they have. Mm, come on, spirit. Yes, like we already said, because you're walking away, you're on the path. You're on your journey. 
Some of you guys could be in hermit mode. You know? Some of you guys could be in school studying. You know? Books down transforming your mind, I'm hearing. Transforming your, your, your thoughts, your sight, what you see, your perspective. Come on, spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, we. Come on. Blossoming abundance, I'm telling you. It's coming through, it's showing. And your abundance is not just financial abundance, it's peace, it's harmony, it's gratitude, it's, it's acceptance, you know what I mean? It's, it's love, it's, it's communicating, it's supporting others, it's helping to build other people up because you feel good about yourself. You, you want to help other people to feel good about themselves and the universe is rewarding you for that. Listen, healer of the ages, I cannot make this up. You want to give and support others, This is the universe has supported you. Healing, hello. Mm, throw the romance on the bottom. What that about spirit? Mm -hmm. The number 3 could be significant. The number 20, 39, 47, 12, 21, 74, 93, 2, 1, 91, 19, 13, 31. Spirit, what's this message? <clears throat> Looking at the garden and the gate. Making a decision whether to walk through. You see, You see what's on the other side. You know what it's going to be. Listen, you know that's going to bring you your victory, your son, the garden and the gate. Come on. It's like all you got to do is just walk through. Just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Look, earth angel. Woman holding the heart. Yes, you would. Listen. Mm, mm, mm. Woman holding the heart and happy family. The ten of cups. Ooh, could have some anxiety around family. Yeah, well, there's somebody that's around you that's very deceitful and very envious of, of this path that you're on. Of the, of the work that you've done on yourself with the thinking woman. Of the path that you've chosen. They know that the path that you've chosen is going to be wish fulfillment. Love. That the love that you carry, that you wear on your sleeve is going to be appreciated. I'm surprised that ain't come out yet. Appreciation. Or did it? Did I? I thought I seen it already. Forty-four could be significant. Twenty-eight could be significant. Thirty. Eighty-two. Four. Thank you, spirit. Oh, God. Look at this. Appreciation. What did I just say? Cut the card on there. I'm telling you. Yes. This is appreciation from family. That unconditional love which you give. You... Oh, wow. Did you see that fall? Yes, you could have anxiety about this. About your community. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, indecision. Oh, wow. Maybe for a long time you was indecisive about taking this journey because of your family. You know what I'm saying? Because what's that mean? That means re releasing. We got door to value here. Yeah, anxiety about this is crossing the bridge. This is walking away. Making a choice in your life to walk down the journey that, listen, journey. you making that decision to take this journey. You may have had anxiety about it. Possibly, maybe this requires you to have finances. You know, maybe you feel like because your finances ain't, you know, up to where you would like them to be that, you know, you're not going to be able to do this. We have the community appreciation and indecision. Yes. You just want people to appreciate you like you appreciate them, right? Indecision, anxiety. 818 could be significant because that's what I've seen first. Number two could be significant. 81, 15, 51, 7. Yeah. Patience. Be patient. Spirit, what else? Anything else here? Wow. This is beautiful, though. Right? Garden and the gate, the journey, anxiety, and indecision, all right together for a victory. Yes. It's like finding your soul tribe. Everybody ain't going to get you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to understand the choice that you made because you want to decide to go down a choice that's less... A, a, a road that's less chosen, you know? And people envy because 
they didn't have the courage to do it for themselves. So watching you do it, they're envious because they know what's at the other end. They clear. Listen, they broken hearted. They broken hearted. Yes. Look at this heart chakra. Look at that. Deeply. You could be too. You know what I mean? Thank you, spirit. Mm, 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 mm. What's this message, spirit? Thank you. Mm. Listen. Happy family. Wish fulfillment. Unconditional love. Equal give and take. Appreciation. Fourth chakra, the heart chakra, right? That unconditional love, that authentic love. Not the love that you give because you want something out of me. This is the love that you get because you feel like I'm worthy and so are you. You know? Thank you, spirit. See, we treat people the way we want to be treated. We really do. And that's why sometimes a lot of us, especially those that are empaths, we give we give so much love and people take it and they abuse it. They think it's cute. They think they're doing something slick, but really all they're doing is setting themselves up for bad karma. You understand? They're filling up a, a negative karma bank that they got to pay. Everybody even listen, listen, we did not get here by we don't get to skip the line. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh. No, no, I, everybody, I had to pay. Everybody gotta pay. Third chakra mm. How you feel about yourself Your self worth Your value How you value others You know That's connected to your heart Listen angel of love I can't make it up That's your energy That's your energy Look magician in the mirror And you make other people see themselves When they see you They see the, what they have lack where they're lacking, where they don't have courage. That's what they see. A reflection of what they're not doing. Or what they were afraid to do. What they didn't have the courage to do. Thank you, spirit. Listen, all about the environment, how you was raised. What you grew up, what kind of environment did you grow up in? A traumatic environment? Are now are you still, you know, holding on to those traumatic events? Are you still holding on to the pain and the trauma of your past? And you're spreading it around to other people? It's leaking all over the place? That's the mirror. That's what this person does. Come on, spirit. <laughs> Thinking man. Oh, there go your counterpart. Somebody that can go just as deep as you go. Deep diving. No. Somebody that ain't afraid to look in the mirror. To, be, to hold themselves accountable for their actions. And then changing that behavior. You know. Accepting the fact that you didn't know. Well you know. You know what I'm saying. Because all I'm going to do is eat up you. Listen. you Strategy man. Listen. Somebody's like taking notes. Somebody is, is going by the, the rules. The law. The universal laws. Right. Personal healing. And happiness. Come on now. Doing that work, that shadow work, that stuff we don't want to look at. Especially when it shows up in our relationships. When people stop reflecting back to us what we was, what we know we should be doing, but we don't know how. We didn't know how, but they're showing you now. Who? look at this, look at this, look at this. An action. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody need to do some healing. Because whatever deceitful actions they're taking, it's going to blow up in your face. You already know it's going to come and reflect right back to you. We, we are a reflection of the actions that we take. Point blank period. It's like if you're spewing anger and hate and, and, and vulgar energy, it's like that's coming from inside you. It ain't come from nowhere else. They ain't coming from nowhere else. And if you're, you know, throwing out positivity and, you know, support and and non-judgmental energy, then that's a reflection of what's coming out of you. That's a reflection of what's inside. Now, you can, you can try to cover it with a little bit of, I got my, my life balanced out, but eventually... That leakage, that garbage, that seed, that, that sewage is going to come out. It has, we're going to go. 
You can't mix the dark and the light together. That that's like mixing oil and water. Shit's gonna rise to the top. It's not gonna mix. And whatever and whatever's on top, whatever whatever is the most of is gonna push up whatever needs to come out. You heard me? It's gonna push out all that good that you're trying to cover all that sewage with, cause it's gonna keep rising, cause it's inside, and then it's gonna go bloop, and then it's gonna come on out. Anyway, where that came from? All right, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.